Hey guys, DK here, and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Today we are going to make the Archer from Clash of Clans. This is what she'll look like when she's all done. Got her bow and everything and whatnot. That's what she'll look like, and with this pattern, I had to change it up a little bit. I'll explain it later on, but you're going to have to cut pieces in half and then glue them together. You only have to do a couple of them, so it's not too bad, but it's the only way I could get that pattern to look nice. And that's what she'll look like at the end. All right, so let's get started. All right, so before we get started, we have, I'm going to show you a new triangle that I made. They're pretty simple. They're just a little time consuming. But what it is, is it's going to be green on one side and light green on the other. And then one's going to be green on the right side and light green on the other side. And you're going to have to make 10 of these and 10 of these. And the way you're going to make these are you're going to take just regular triangle you can just before or after you fold it doesn't really matter and what you're going to want to do is take it take the dark green and you're going to cut it straight down the middle of it just like that and then you're going to take your light green now for the left side when you want the green on the left side, what you're gonna wanna do is take your light green, don't cut it right in the middle, go over, I don't know, like three or two millimeters, and then cut it off. So the fold is right there and you'll have a little flap left over. And all you do is take your green and you're just going to match it up there and glue it on. So you'll glue them together just like that. And then when you fold it, when you fold them together, I'll show you one that's already done. So these were glued together. So when you fold them, you just fold them normally. You'll have the dark green on one side, light green on the other. And that's what you'll do. So you'll make, with the light green, you're gonna cut, when you do the dark green, on the right side, you're gonna cut a little flap on the right side, just like that. So the dark green, you can just glue right to it. And I just use Elmer's glue, works really good. And then when you wanna do the other side, when you want the dark green on the left side, you take your light green, and instead of cutting it on the right side, just cut it a little bit, you know, like two millimeters on the left side, so there's a flap. So there's a little flap left over. And then just take your dark green and glue it right to it. Just like that. And then after the glue dries, then you can fold your triangle like normal. And then you'll have it. And that's what you'll end up with. I tried doing it a different way and it just didn't turn out right. But you only have to make 10 of each, so just remember 10 of them with green on the left side and 10 of them with green on the right side. All right, so let's get going with the rest of the build. So to start it off, what we're gonna do is gonna take the light green, one facing backwards, the other facing forward, just like normal, 
slip it right down on there, and we need to make 20 pairs of these. And then once you get those made, just start connecting them all together. Now you're going to take your dark green, doesn't matter where you start at, and you're going to make a row of nine. And then skip one, and then make another row of nine. Like that, so you should have one missing right there and then just put a light green in those two places so you have it like that now what we're going to do you can start on either side um, we'll just start right here with the light green what we want to do is take the halfers that you made one green green on one side light green on the other and we're going to go one to the left and with green on the right side we're going to put it down whoops wrong way around green on the left side and then green on the right side right next to it like that and then you're going to do the same thing over on this other side you'll put green on the left side or green on the right side along with a green on the left side right next to it like that and then go all the way turn around to the back and do the same thing just match what you did right there there we go And then you're going to fill in the rest of these spaces with light green. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a light green, put it directly in the middle, like that. Then we're going to take a dark green, and we're going to go to the left, right there and then take a light green yeah light green and dark green and then we're going to go light green and then dark green and then you're going to put in three brown and then a dark green light green and then a dark green. So we're kind of looking like that. And we'll just continue this way. So we'll put a light green. And then a dark green. A light green again. We'll go to dark green. Then a light green, then two dark green, and then a light green, and then a dark green. So what we're going to do is with this face, see the brown on the left, you'll find the middle, look like this. What we're going to start off with is one of your halfers with dark green on the right hand side. So fit it right down on there. And then one with the dark green on the left hand side. Put it on there and then just keep going around with light green. And then another halfer with green on the right hand side. Another halfer with green on the left hand side. 
another halfer with green on the right hand side and another one with green on the left hand side and then take a light green put it on there take another green with green on the right hand side and another one with green on the left hand side and then again green on the right hand side and green on the left hand side and then a regular light green dark green green and then two brown and then you're gonna go light green another light green and then you're gonna take a halfer with green on the right hand side and green on the left hand side just like that that's pretty much it with the halfers that's that's the hard part so good thing we're done with that go back to the middle what we're gonna do is take a light green put it on there and then we're gonna take four green And then one light green. And then four more green. And then go back to your middle right here. Where we're going to go three green going left. And then we're going to take a brown. And then we're going to add one yellow in the middle. And then put another brown on there. And then three more green. And then one light green. To finish it out. Should be all full looking like that. Okay. Now what we want to do is just put a whole row, full row of brown. Alright, now we go back, find the middle again, and then put yellow right there, and then fill the rest of these in with brown. Alright, what's she looking like? And this is why. You can kind of see the pattern, kind of a spiral shape that we made. And the reason we did the halfers is just so it looks like one straight line that goes through there. It goes all the way around. And there we go with the belt. Now what we want to do is take the light green and we're going to make six more rows of light green. Six more rows right on top of light green. So this is what you should have after you get your six rows on there. You should have 14 total. Well, 15 counting the very bottom. With that, there we go. And that's pretty much it for the body. And next I'll show you how to make her head. All right, so to start off with the head, what we're going to do is take light pink, one facing backwards, the other facing forward, slide it on there, and we're going to make nine pairs of these. And then with the regular pink, same thing, one backwards, the other forward, and we're going to make 13 pairs of these. All right, so after you get those all together like that, you're just gonna start connecting them all together. Just start with the light pink, connect those all together, and then after that, go with the regular pink.
just like that. And then you should have 22 all together. And there you have it with that. Now what we're going to do is take and make, starting up to the left of the light pink, we're going to make a row of 10 of them. Like that. And then fill the rest in with pink. Okay, once you get the pink on there, what we're going to do is find the middle. Easy is just um, count just one, two, three, four, five over. Send it to the other side. This one will be your middle piece. So you're going to take and put a purple right above it and then a purple on each side. And then take your light pink and put three on each side. That and then fill the rest in with pink. There we go. Now we're going to take the purple right here and we're going to increase it to four. So you just start one on the outside. Like that. And then we're going to go three pink or three light pink on each side. And then fill the rest in with pink. Now what you need to do is take a light pink, put it right in the middle of the purple, and then put two purple on each side and then two light pink on each side. And then fill the rest in with pink. And what we're gonna do is take the light pink and we're gonna do a row of 10 right above here. So you're going to start right above this one. And then fill the rest of this in with pink. After you get that done, we're going to start with the light pink and do a row of nine. So we just start one in. and then fill the rest in with pink. And there we go. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is take, and we're gonna repeat these two rows two more times. So it's 10 light, and then nine light and fill in with the regular pink. So it's gonna go 10, then nine, 10, and then nine. You're gonna do that two, these two rows two more times. So you have six total, okay? So do these two rows two more times on top. And this is what it should be looking like. I have to get those other four rows done. So you should be up to row 11, 12 counting this one. Looking like that. Now what you want to do is take the light pink and put one right here and then one right here and I'll do the same with the other side right here one like that and then fill the rest of this in with pink. There you go, and then take light pink, put one on, on the top of each one, and then fill the rest in with pink. And 
There we go. Now what we're gonna do is take the pink and we're gonna do two full rows of pink right on top. So do two more full rows of pink. Okay, so there's the head. It's all done for you. That's what it should look like. Next I'll show you how to make our arms. This is what they'll, they'll be. First you start off, just take two light pink, put one in the middle, and take another two light pink, put them on each side, a light pink right in the middle, and then two yellow, yellow, and then one light pink, and then two more light pink right on top of them. And you'll need to make two of these. And with the body, they'll go, you know, you can kind of form them how you want to, and put them on there, and then the head will go right on top. And then I have eyes you add, and then I'm trying to make a bow for her. But I'll show you what it looks like after I get everything assembled. All right, so here she is, all finished. I even made a little bow for her with her eyes. Um, I'm not very good at doing the eyes. If you can find a better way to put eyes on there, you can. I'll put a link in the description where you can download the eyes, these ones, um, with the arms and everything attached. To make her bow, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just take your brown and yellow take it and just slip it over there just a little bit and what you're gonna do is just do one brown two yellow another brown two more yellow and then another brown and you just need to glue these and you just bend them like this and then flatten them between a book or a box or something and I just took a pair of scissors and just trimmed off here and then I put a piece of dental floss as a string in there and that's how I made the bow for her but that's her all done so if you guys have any questions just leave a comment um, if you like it hit that like button and subscribe all right thanks again